Imagine if we told you you aren't the only one living in your body, and that there are trillions of organisms that live alongside you. Well, it's true. Within your gut alone, there are around 100 trillion microorganisms consisting of bacteria, fungi, viruses, and other parasites. This system of organisms is called the gut microbiota, and it's been shown to be essential to the normal functioning of our bodies. From bolstering your immune system to fight off pathogens, destroying toxins, and even protecting you against chronic diseases and cancers, for organisms so small, they sure have big responsibilities. The gut microbiota is so important that scientists are even considering it to be its own organ. The first time we're exposed to microorganisms is during birth, which is why our initial microbiota most closely resembles our mother's. We form a symbiotic relationship with our gut microbiota. We provide a hospitable place for it to thrive and it protects us from infection. However, as we grow and develop, many factors such as our diet and environment can influence the composition of the microbiota. While we ideally want the helpful and harmful microorganisms in our gut to remain in harmony, imbalances between them can have detrimental effects. In recent years, research in this field has expanded to investigate the gut-brain axis, or the bi-directional impacts the gut microbiota and brain functioning, including mental health, have on each other. Studies have shown that bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract can activate neural pathways and central nervous signaling systems. A healthy gut microflora transmits brain signals through the various pathways such as those involved in neurogenesis, neural transmission, microglial activation, and behavioral control under stable or stressful conditions. One of the most significant contributions the gut microbiota makes to brain functioning is through the production of serotonin, the neurotransmitter that regulates our mood, appetite, and sleep patterns, and its deficiency is closely associated with the development of depression and anxiety. The short-chain fatty acids produced by the microorganisms in our gut feed the cells responsible for producing serotonin. In fact, over 90% of the serotonin in our bodies is produced by the intestines. A study exploring the relationship between the gut-brain axis found that after transplanting the gut microbiota profile of participants with severe depression into mice, these mice began displaying signs of low activity, anxiety, and depressive behaviors. As students, it's important to take care of our gut microbiome so we can live healthy lives. Consuming foods high in probiotics is a great way to start. Some sources of probiotics to include in your diet are fermented vegetables, kombucha, miso, sauerkraut, and tempeh. Eating more prebiotic fibers from vegetables and whole grains is also important as many microbes feed on this fiber. Taking care of yourself with regular exercise, consistent sleep, and reducing stress will all help our tiny friends in the gut as well. So what have we learned today? There are literally trillions of microorganisms of many different species living in our gastrointestinal tract. Although the links between gut microbiotal factors and brain disorders discussed in this video are fascinating, it's important to remember that these disorders are complex and multi-causal, and new research is constantly being conducted to better understand them.